We must protect our children. Every parent, every citizen feels that. Uh, we must protect our students. We have to protect our educators. And given the circumstances that we're in and the precautions that would have to be put in place, so we're going to have the schools remain closed for the rest of the year. We're going to continue the distance learning.
Yeah, I'm Get on the ground. Flat back. I can't see what I'm doing. This is weird. Ready? Yay. Oh, God, no, not Diddy. Oh, man. Go. 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 Started? Yeah, we started.
Yeah, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna adjust it. Ah, well, class of 2020, you have gone through quite a quite an experience, and with that, memories. This, for sure, if nothing else, is a unique year, just like all of you, truly unique. It has been a great pleasure to have had you in my life, to have taught many of you. I want to thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart. Go out there, make mistakes, learn from them, enjoy the experience daily. Just keep it in the day. That's all we have to go do is go for the day. So thank you. Congratulations. I love you. Remember where your roots are. And remember, there are always people who love you. Thank you. Peace be with you. Hi, seniors. My graduation gift to you is a penny, but why? Look at the penny and you'll understand. The year is 2020, so you'll always remember this time. Honest Abe Lincoln is on the front. Always be honest with yourself and others. The word liberty, as they say in the Navy, you are now at liberty, and that means you are free to do as you like. Don't waste that freedom. A penny may be worth only one cent, and you can't buy much with a penny anymore. However, every dollar is made up of 100 pennies, and every kid's piggy bank starts with one penny. That penny, like each of you, is not made of pure silver or gold, but surely if you put enough pennies together, they will amount to something. I ask that you go out into the world and amount to something. Set your own value on life. Set your own standards and goals. And in case you need it, here's a penny for luck. We're going to miss you next year, seniors. Congratulations. Hello, class of 2020. I'm so proud of you, and so I have some, some words of wisdom. I have a book of Beatle lyrics. I'm going to randomly pick one, and it will promise you some words of wisdom. I'm so tired, I haven't slept a wink. I'm so tired, my mind is on the blink. No, I want to tell you how much you've meant to me. I want to tell you how proud I am of you. I want to tell you that I love you, and I think you're going to do great things, and that's what I want to say. Hello, class of 2020. It's Mr. Selecki. And I wanted to take a moment to offer my congratulations to you on a job very well done, a lot of hard work, and just grit has gotten you through to this point. And um, everything you've achieved, I'm very proud of, each and every one of you. And I know there's great, great things for you in the future. Just remember always to be kind to yourself and to others and treat people the way that you would like to be treated. And I will be uh, offering you as well a dad joke because, you know, that's just what I do. The uh, ultimate dad joke of all dad jokes, which I'm sure some of you have already heard, goes like this. A uh, kid goes to his dad, hey dad, I'm hungry. And dad replies back, hi hungry, I'm dad. Congratulations guys, way to go. Hello, senior class of 2020. Um, I just want to let you know that I think of you often, and I hope you know how much your school, your community, and your parents love you. We realize this time is a struggle for you as you're not ending your senior year as you know, tradition holds, like seniors of the past, and now you might be thinking that, you know, those memories are lost. However, I want you to think about and hold on to the memories that you do have. Like all those sporting events you were involved in or went to. Um, all the drama productions you were involved in or watched. Um, all your friendships that you've made. All of your art displays that you may have created or even went and saw um, all the music productions you guys have had a lot of memories and more to have 
And I want you to think about all the skills and all the other things that you did while you were home that you may not have had that opportunity in the traditional school setting, like perseverance. You guys persevered through this. Time management, new computer skills. Maybe you picked up baking like my daughter did. I belong in Honeyway, having the opportunity and the honor of having you for two years. It was a pleasure. I enjoyed it. You guys made me laugh. You guys gave me a little aggravation at times. But those memories are priceless, and that's what we need to hold on to. So I wish all the best for all of you. And never forget, use higher level words in your writing. Love you. Take care. Hi, Honey Oy Seniors. Congratulations. Teachers always say that they're going to remember each and every class, but this time we really are going to remember you. What a great celebration. Congratulations to all of you. Miss you. Hi, Honeyway Seniors. It's Mrs. Rose. Congratulations on all of your hard work over the last four years, and we know you're going to do fabulous things. So I'm going to send you off with an equation here for 2020. Some nice powers of four. Um, but good luck, and we hope to uh, see you when you come back and visit. Hey, class of 2020. Um, I'm sorry we cannot be there uh, to count down the number of days you have left until your graduation. Uh, but know, know these few, few things. Um, first, you're special. Second, you already have done some amazing things during your time at Honeyway, and you are going to continue to do amazing things uh, after your graduation. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. Tell yourself something positive every single day, and finally, be the best you you can possibly be. Love you, miss you, congratulations. Good afternoon, and to the class of 2020, I am so grateful to share in your final year with you. On behalf of HCS, we could not be more proud of your achievements to date, and we relish in the promise of your tomorrow. As you leave HCS, invest fully in you. There are no restrictions on what you can accomplish, and so establish high expectations for yourself and be confident that you can and you will make a difference in this world. Because like every HCS graduate who came before you, you have the skills, the knowledge, and the competencies that are conferred by an excellent education. Serving as your superintendent, albeit for such a brief period of time, has been an honor and a privilege. I thank you for all that you are, and I am excited by the promise of all that you will become. Congratulations, class of 2020, and my very best wishes to all of you. Hey, class of 2020, just wanted to say congratulations. I am so proud of you. I know this is not the senior year you hoped for. I can't come up with a really good reason why it happened to you other than the fact that maybe somebody out there, some greater being knew that you could handle this. Um, not even a global pandemic could stop you from doing what you're meant to do. Go show the world what you're made of. Congratulations, seniors. I am so proud of you. Thanks for being you. You guys just rock. You are so brave and you are just so special and um, congratulations. You have worked so hard and we are finally here. Wishing you all the best today and always and uh, see you at graduation. Bye. Hello seniors. Um, I'd much rather be delivering you this message in person, but a weird twist of fate has brought us to this point. So what are you gonna do? First and foremost, I want to thank you for the yearbook dedication. Uh, it was completely unexpected. Uh, just so flattered and, and deeply touched that you would, would, would give me such an honor. Uh, I, I, I could not say thank you enough, and I'm not sure I can convey to you how meaningful it is to me. Uh, this is my last year at Honey Oak 2, and 
having lost the last three months has made me, you know, angry and frustrated and sad. And, and uh, I'm sure you've all felt the same way. I've probably gone through these emotions a bunch of times. Um, what's happened just can't suck enough. And, you know, it isn't fair. It's, it is what it is, and we just have to, you know, find a way to deal with it. Make the best of it. Uh, I've missed all of you. I've missed our time in class. And I guess as you move on to bigger and better things, uh, try to recall the good times you had at Hanoi. And don't dwell on these last three months. Uh, don't, let, don't let this weird three months, you know, color your entire high school experience. You are an impressive group of people and each of you has unique talents and abilities and I have no doubt that you're going to be successful in your chosen fields. Uh, it's been my pleasure and a real honor for me to have played a very small role in your life. My wish for you is peace and good luck and until we meet again, be well. Now go and set the world on fire.